In this video, you will learn how to create a box plot for your data with a normal distribution in Origin Pro. Our data consists of absolute errors for training and testing data. You can draw the same graph for descriptive analysis of your data. Change the X column to Y. Select the data and navigate to plot. Statistical. Box normal. Now, we will add grids to the plot and make it a box with the help of opposite grids. Adjust the variable names accordingly. Remember to select dependent as this is an effective way to format the plot. However, you can also choose independent. If you select dependent, you can change most of the settings in this single tab, whereas selecting independent will require you to go into each tab for changing formatting for each plot. Proceed to the symbols tab and modify the formatting. Choose by plot and edge color options since we are using the dependent option from the group tab. In the pattern tab, also select by plot and color options. If you want to fill the box, follow the same steps and select by plot in the color option. However, in this case, we are selecting none as we want no fill in the box. Now, go to the group tab and change the colors of various plot elements. We are choosing red and green colors. Ensure consistency in the colors you select for better visuals. Head to the box option, where you'll find various options available for the box plot. You can change the position of the box plot here. Explore various box style options here. Explore various box range options here. Adjust the whisker settings as needed. Explore the options for displaying labels on the plot. Note that these labels can be challenging to move and might not look good in their default position. Continue watching the video to learn how to address this issue. In the distribution tab, you'll find different options for curve types and related formatting. There are also different symbols available to show on the plot. Leave the formatting settings for line options to auto. In this tab, you can also customize the formatting of your outliers. Select Auto Reposition to avoid overlapping, and press OK. If you encounter difficulty moving the labels, you have two options to solve this problem. One option is to add text boxes individually for all labels and place them appropriately according to your needs. Alternatively, you can choose to turn off the labels. We forgot to add whisker values for the left box plot, hence adding the missing labels. Turning off the whisker label. Another option is to add text boxes with information on your plot. To do this, we are adjusting the plot scale to make room for the text boxes. 
Adding the text boxes. Now adjusting their formatting to match their respective box plots for better understanding. Now delete the labels but you can keep them if you want. If you want to keep the labels, correct their positions, as their positions are disturbed due to changing the scale. Removing extra white space around plot. This is our final plot, and we hope this video was helpful to you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.